they played hard. Um, that first drive, I mean, we didn't even slow them down. And I thought maybe it was just because we were going to start slow, but they kept us on our heels all day. We, uh, uh, their offense played very hard uh, for their football coach today. Uh, fortunately, our offense played very hard and had a great day. And then we had some special teams plays. But probably one of the bigger plays was uh, the seven points right before halftime. You know, they tied it back up 14 to 14, and we battled back and kind of ground out a little bit. But that, that was a big play going into halftime. And then we got the ball back right away, came back with three, and then we had our two-possession two, uh, two lead, and that's, that's what we were looking for. And, but they battled, man. They did a great job, and, and it was one of the more difficult offenses to defend. Well, talk about that play. It, was, it seemed like a risky play at the time, you know, running it on, uh, you know, with just seconds left before the half. Well, David got such a good return. And then it was... You know, you need to make those plays. If you're gonna if you're gonna play and you're gonna be a, a football team that's a playoff football team, you gotta make those plays and you gotta go for it. We have played the last five weeks, no handcuffs, uh, no hesitation. We've just played and we haven't tried to reserve or do anything except find ways to win games. And you know, we did it last week in South, uh, South Southern Illinois a couple times that we still were going after them even though we had a couple point lead, a couple possession leads. That was a big one there. So. If you play like that and you can make those plays, we've got some players making plays right now. With the way and get him ready mentally for the playoffs? Yeah, brought me down to earth that first drive. <laughs> 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 and I was out of calls early. And, and, uh, <coughs> but it was, it, it sure it does. But what it also does is I think it's awesome how the, how the offense responded. And that's, that's the kind of team you need because you'll have good offensive teams, you'll have good defensive teams, but when you can have both, and a good special teams. That's the kind of team you need to, to really move forward. You need all dimensions because as you go, as, a, as the stakes go up, the, the talent on the other team so it does too. And we're, we're I'm really pleased with the offensive growth the last five weeks. Tremendous. And defense, you know, kind of got kicked around a little bit today, but we'll go back and find out how they did it and try to clean that up because you know, the stakes go up and, and the teams get better. Mark, obviously this is the win you needed for your playoff positioning, but TA's basically been a, probably his last game here. Does that make it kind of bittersweet winning tonight against? It, it does. I've, I've said this, and I've, I've always said this. Uh, you know, he's one of us. He he, he was uh, he got he gave me my first chance, and anybody that gives you a first chance, you always got to be uh, indebted to him because when you're young, you're just hoping to get an opportunity. He, would, he took a chance on me way back in 1987. And now to end it like this, it is sad because he's, there's a lot of, you talk about these kids, these sons of former players on our team. Well, a lot of those were dads. Those dads were players that he was a part of recruiting. He was the head football coach at that time. So, you know, that's why he knows him so well because, you know, he's, he's still a part of this program because we've got the first generation after that. So. No matter what you say, he's 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 always been a U and I Panther, so it is bittersweet. How well are you guys playing right now? Pardon me? How well are you guys playing right now? Good enough to win. <laughs> it's uh, I I really like what our offense did today, and, and I was hoping I was hoping to see progress because that was kind of the thing that I thought we needed. We could make the biggest progress in, and we did that. I think we got to clean some things up on defense now, but as long as the offense has a foundation to build from, and we have the last month. Then you can keep getting better. And the players see me playing faster. They're making plays. They know where the holes are at. They know the timing and stuff right now. And for the most part, we're staying healthy. And that's a big part of it, too. Did Breon, uh, Mark, when you take a step forward, did he make some big passes on your last story? He made some tremendous passes. I mean, and you got to have confidence in him. you got to get him, you got to let him play with no handcuffs. You can't, you can't play safe with him. And he, you look at that drive right before halftime, you know. We're going for it, and uh, he's got to have the we got to have the confidence in him to let it go. And, and he made some nice throws, and then he made an even better throw to Kevin Lorraine uh, on this on this long throw down our sideline. You know, those are the plays we got to make because when you're pounding up in the middle with David for 200 yards, you got to find a way to go deep because that starts drawing him in tighter and tighter to the line of scrimmage. And when you can go when you can stretch the field sideline to sideline with his throw or down the middle, it's going to help David in the run game. Talking about David's 200 yards career high, how good was it to see that in his final regular season game? That's, that's, 
you know, we really started going to David, and, you know, when David's getting stronger. I mean, that's, he's a player. Unbelievable. I mean, I'm sitting here looking at these guys up here. Those are three great players, and, man, David's just playing. He, he's a, he put the price of admission. And uh, what he's doing right now and how he's doing it, staying strong and staying healthy, that's because of all the work he's put in for five years. And to have him get 200 yards in his last regular season game, I think that's awesome. And, you know, he's a part of setting that kickoff up. He wasn't even getting beat today. I mean, he took it. He took that ball and drove that field after they scored on us. He was a big part of making some hard runs to keep us, you know, 10 points ahead. So we're fortunate to have him. He and, he and his teammates seem to think the sky's the limit now for this team, Mark. Uh, you heard him say that. It, it is. It, it really is. If you look back at what we've done, We've played some pretty good teams along the way here. And I think the sky's the limit because we have three dimensions, offense, defense, and special teams. There's nothing that I don't feel good about right now that can't get better or not a good place to go into the playoffs with. I think we're, I think we're playing real good football at a real good time. Their character and will were kind of challenged the last month. I mean, being in a little bit of a hole, I mean, Talk about them fighting their way out of that, and what's basically provided the recent mental makeup of this. Well, they, they have. They've. You go back, you're three and four. I think was what happened back then, wasn't it? Something yes. like that. And there wasn't anybody saying anything good about them. <laughs> and, and, and for them to be resilient, it's kind of like their injuries. I mean, lamaster has been out three, four times, and uh, they keep coming back, and they come back stronger. So it's their resilience is their their confidence in their teammates and themselves. They know they had a good team. It's just we had to get some rhythm. And once you get rhythm, then I think you get you start to look better and then everything comes together. But we just had to catch rhythm. And quite honestly, it's hard coming out getting that rhythm with that early schedule we had going all over the place and, and trying to settle in and just get better. But we hit it at the right time. We hit it in November. And that's always been the plan. And they're like I said, we're going into next week with a lot of confidence. Speaking of rhythm, would you rather have play right away next week or would you rather have the box? I, I really don't care. I'm just glad we're in. <laughs> we should be in anyway. I should say it. <laughs> we better be in. But I, I don't think it matters. I think if we play, we play. If they send us somewhere, we go somewhere. If, if we get the week off, we get the week off. I just I haven't planned anything. I'll wait to see what happens in the morning. And we'll adjust and go from there. But as long as we've got a healthy football team, and the way it appears that we're we're healthy right now, we'll be ready whether it's next Saturday or a week from Saturday. And what do you think about the potential now that the, you guys are, are coming in, going into the playoffs uh, with uh, basically you're you're going at 212 degrees right now? Uh, what what do you what do you think about the the, the way that you guys are going to be uh, they're playing setting good, up? But they're playing good, but you also got to go back to the defense. Kind of got upended today. It's, it doesn't take long to get grounded when they're getting six yards per carries and you give up 200 yards rushing, or something like that. So, you know, we did something in air. They did something to create that. We got to find out what it was and figure out how to shore that back up because now we'll be attacked in a very similar way. But I don't think they did anything fancy. I just think they played very well. And, you know, we played consistent, but they, they played very hard. I said, fortunately, our offense kept them at bay. David was seen as a D-back by Iowa and a linebacker for Illinois State. Was there any doubts that he was going to be a running back here when you got him to come to you and I? You bet. I'm a linebacker coach. <laughs> <laughs> He's a linebacker. Still wish he was a linebacker. But, but no, it, when we recruited David, uh, that was uh, you can go back and go through that in your head that you can't figure out why. Uh, some of these other ones weren't, weren't involved. David has been like this since the day I met him. Okay, his personality was just like this. Every time I went to his school, every time I went to his home, it was like this. And David made himself in this player. And we thought, quite honestly, uh, some of our coaches thought he was a receiver. He came to our camp, we thought he had good hands, he might be like a slot receiver. When I went and looked at him in school, I kept looking at his frame, and I'm going, man, this guy at worst is gonna be a great linebacker for us. And Fortunately, we never we put him at running back from day one, and he never looked back because he's made himself into that. That's not a 
and there's a lot of work and time that he's put in to become the player he is. So credit him and credit everybody that's all the resources he's used around here to get him there. But he's a great person. Man, that's even better than the player he is. Talk a little bit about all these uh, seniors that that uh, that you had uh, this year, including including your oldest son. Uh, but uh, oh, oh, these guys that these guys that you're that you're honoring today. Uh, what about these guys that helped make your your well, seniors, your team the way it is now? The seniors were very instrumental because I thought this was a good class from the day one. And you know we got we got hurt last year, so we couldn't get them. We were we were hot last year too. We were about like this at mid season last year, and then we got really banged up bad. So it was it's been very stressful and very hard. To, I don't want to say hard. It's been very hard. Yeah, they're hard trying to get them to playoffs because you didn't want to fail them because they haven't failed us ever. And so we just wanted to give them the best plan, the best opportunity, and they came through, and now they get their opportunity that they came here for. I mean, football is a strange game. You talk about last year and, and the injuries that you suffered and, and, the, and the, a little bit of a losing streak. Well, about five weeks ago, you and Missouri State had the same record. I think they were, had a better overall record. And now, five weeks later, you're looking at the. I mean, is it? I mean, you look at it like that. I mean, how crazy this this sport can be sometimes. This this is, this, this is, football has changed, and this league has changed. This league is excellent. It's not like it was five years ago or ten years ago. This is different. You can see the teams that have came through here, and even when you you got to be so good now every week, because if you have an off day, it's going to cost you a game, and we. We just caught that, that Illinois State and that and that North Dakota State back to back, and then going. You don't know how big and hard that game was last week in Southern Illinois. That was a huge hard game, and so our team has been resilient. But everything X said, everything David said, it's nice to see some of the things that we did paying off for you because all those things maybe we did leadership wise, character wise, who knows? They held they held together. They stayed together. They caught a little momentum. Now this guy's on the floor. Any questions? Thanks.